guys welcome to my god's hallelujah kitchen um i just want to say hi to everyone and a big thank you to all my subscriber and to everyone who take the time to watch our video well i'm in the kitchen at this present time and i'm by myself at this moment hopefully my sister will um come in in a bit but at this moment she's um working so she can't come in the kitchen at this present time well i'm here in the kitchen and i'm about to walk up dinner i'm about to cook my dinner um just like to say and um, to everyone hope that you are having a good day um i know that life does have challenges and life experience sometimes put you at a bad place but i pray that today is a um, a good day for everyone I pray that today is a day that you are fighting to you know live the best life ever you're fighting for your life you're fighting to stay alive you're fighting for your children you're fighting for your family you're fighting to succeed so hope that today is that day for you anyway I'm gonna take you into what I'm cooking and um hope that you will enjoy um this journey with me today anyway i'll be cooking some pot roast chicken and that is my chicken whole chicken season um uh, sorry i didn't take you through the process of me seasoning the meat but first and foremost i wash my meat i use a lemon to wash my meat um, you know that we Jamaicans we wash everything that we are preparing so I wash my meat on my meat I have my scallion I have my um, garlic I have um, rosemary and country pepper and then I have my hotter season that I put on my meat like chicken season um, all purpose and black pepper and um, a bit of paprika so i had that to my meat so that's the meat season so today i'm gonna do something different i'm not cooking rice and peas but i'll be doing my queen quinoa quinoa this word sometimes seems so difficult to call i don't know why but this is what i'm cooking but i'm cooking it like i'm cooking rice with peas but i'm cooking it today with some cow peas so i'm doing my quinoa with cow peas i'm gonna season in the water just the same as how i will season my water if I'm doing rice with cow peas or rice with um, red peas or gungo peas so I've already pressure so there is my cow peas that's my cow peas in the pot and I'm gonna add some I didn't have any fresh coconut but I have some tin ones so I'm gonna add and some of the juice in the pot and to the water I'm having some scallion some thyme a piece of country pepper garlic ginger and maggi cube to the water so that is for my quinoa with cow peas i'm gonna add a bit of water to it also and also i'm gonna add some butter and salt to taste so don't use too much salt in your cooking when i season my my meat i don't put salt because the season already come with 
white on salt so i don't need to put any salt in it so i don't put salt so i'm gonna cover the pot and leave it there to boil and then i have my kiwa and here is my sister I know hi guys so this is my quinoa this is how I wash it. See, because the grain is so fine, I use my sieve to wash it so I can, you know, save it from, like, losing any of it. So this is it. This is perfect to wash it. Again. So let me show you, as I was saying, that I have now in the water scallion, and I have some, that is my cowpeas, thyme, garlic butter and a piece of ginger and a maggi cube in there so i'm leaving it to boil boil, boil, boil. so how are you guys today um we're having a bit of rain today and um the flowers are happy i'm happy for the rain today i'm not gonna say i'm sad that it's raining you know because sometimes people can associate rain with sadness and rain is not sadness rain is quite good for the the environment it's good for the trees it's good for us as human beings so rain is a good thing always remember that rain is a good thing okay so hope you guys are enjoying your day wherever you are in your home in your home country hope you're having a good 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 day i just had some olive oil to the pot for my pot roast chicken not a lot of olive olive oil but whatever oil you use it can you can use it but i'm using olive oil so this is a pot and when it's when the oil is hot i'm gonna put my chicken in it and cover it and then yes so let's see what is going on as other guys, you never stop having that appetite for your childhood uh, snack. snack. So I'm eating um, a cheese puff. Um, in, in, in Jamaica, we usually call it cheat chicks. <laughs> you have cheat chicks and sky juice or bad juice. So never too old for cheat chicks. Also, in my pot, I put a piece of ginger in the oil and garlic. So I'm going to add, um, when the oil is a bit more hot, I'm going to put the chicken in it. So, You have to say to the guys you just finish working well as you know as my sister tell you before that i'm working from home and uh just to finish and um, counseling some young people over the phone i ha also have three adults to counsel later on so um i must say it's a very rewarding job you know being able to help somebody get through their emotional trauma whether it's past or present and being able to give them something to hope for so yes it's a field that my sister and i are in and it's something that is quite rewarding yes. it's got its challenges yeah. you know because if you don't know what you're doing you can absorb all the emotional trauma mm. that is coming from somebody else so I must say that, you know, I am thankful that I can help somebody get through their pain, you know, and being able to manage all I'm absorbing, you know, all the issues that is coming across, all the emotional trauma that is coming across, especially with the young um, adults or the young children. It can be... Um, more painful 
one because if you're not careful you want to rescue them and as a counselor you can't rescue them you you have to find a way of allowing them to move forward and sometimes it's quite difficult because why i say it's difficult because with children if, especially if it's in their own environment that they're in and they're finding it difficult to cope in that environment they will always be going back to that environment with an adult an adult can move away you know because an adult have more autonomy to move away from their, their environment that they're in but with children it's it's totally different so with children you find that if you're not careful you feel like you want to rescue them but you can't do it because honestly i'm born by ethical um, principles and i have to abide by the ethical framework and work in an ethical way so but i'm enjoying what i'm doing and i'm loving what i'm doing and you know i'm doing the hoping that we as sisters when we do videos we come across in, in a positive way because we don't want to hurt anyone all human beings are one to me you know i don't see color you know color is nothing to me you know people are people human race and it's important for us to treat each other equally you know with love understanding and, and respect. respect and forgiveness yeah anyway i put my chicken i did not get to tell you that um, what i did was to remove the back of the chicken but i still have it in the pot so i put my chicken in the pot now um i put the skin side down I, we don't eat the skin but it's nice when you're doing the pot rolls to leave the skin on mm -hmm. so the skin is still on the chicken and um i'm gonna cover that and i'm gonna take you through this journey of cooking my pot roast chicken so now i'm gonna cover the pot over here my kiwa as you can see is cooking yes it's cooking So guys, look at that. It looks just like rice and gungo peas. Mm -hmm. So if you know, sometimes you... Cow peas, not gungo peas. Cow not, yeah. It looks just like rice and cow peas. And cow peas. But you know, if you are not a person who can eat rice, mm -hmm. and you just craving your, you know, cow peas or red peas, mm -hmm. you know, dish, you can substitute um, quick quinoa. Mm -hmm for rice and you have that meal just mm -hmm. like you're eating rice and peas or rice and quinoa. bean or rice and quinoa quinoa, quinoa. so this is my right no not rice <laughs> quinoa, quinoa. <laughs> with my cow peas and it looking delicious delicious can't wait to try it So look guys, I'm showing you the chicken, my pot roast chicken is not yet done, it's still cooking, but my quinoa we call peas that is finished because it's easily cooked, so look at that guys, beautiful, so it's a substitute and healthier choice than rice because it doesn't swell your tummy, so it's best to eat, so what I did um in the basin that i season my chicken i pour some hot water and i just pour it in the pot and i'm gonna cover that and leave it because it's still cooking i like my meat well done don't like to see any blood look at that guys the pot roast chicken is looking delicious and I had a bit of taste of it, so and I know it tastes delicious. Ooh, coming mm. on beautiful, yummy, on beautiful, mmm, lovely. So, as I was saying, guys, if you don't like rice, you can use quinoa. Quinoa. That word I struggle with, quinoa. 
and substitute it for rice. Mm -hmm. And it's like having your rice and peas. And it's like having your rice and peas. So, do that. And it's, it's quite um, light on your tummy. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, for me, it's better, it's better than... Um, you digest it better, better than, too. Than, yeah. than, than the rice itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's my pot roll chicken. And it's looking delicious. And I'm over here making some vegetable. You can't have your dinner without some greens. So I'm making some. So my beautiful viewers, our pot roast chicken is now completed, and we have taken it out of the pot because we want to make some gravy with um, what is left in the remnant of the pot. So tell me, guys, thumbs up. You know, pot roast chicken, quite healthy, and it's delicious. So my twin is over there making some gravy. And as I said, with the remnant of the pot roast chicken, it is so nice to use to make the gravy. So this is the gravy at the moment, okay? Look at this guy, beautiful colors. So I have some parsley. Um, baby spinach, I have tomato, um, baby um, sweet pepper, baby tomatoes, and I have some cucumbers. And what I actually do, I squeeze some lemon on it and a bit of olive oil. And that's our salad dish for our dinner, okay? So guys, dinner is now served. And I must say, if you look at that um, dish, you will think rice and peas is on the plate. Mm -hmm. So that's my pot roast chicken with quinoa and cow peas and salad. Yeah. Dinner is now served. So from our kitchen. So from our God's Hallelujah kitchen yes, yes. to where you are at this present time, I hope you enjoy what we present to you and you Thumbs can up. follow with the recipe as i i say in most of my videos everybody cook different but i believe every home food tastes delicious so this is the way we cook in this house mm -hmm. and if you want to try our way of cooking you can follow um, by watching the video and you will see how delicious it tastes and don't forget to like and don't subscribe. forget to like subscribe and share mm -hmm. and continue as i said at my beginning of my video that we do understand that life does bring some sort of challenges but fight mm -hmm. fight a good part of it fight on mm -hmm. i think the songwriter said oh no it's in the bible that said Father. i will fight the good fight oh. of faith and, and finish my course i will finish my course because mm -hmm. um i think there is treasure laid up yes yeah, story of treasure laid up somewhere <laughs> i need to go back in the bible sadly <laughs> 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 but continue to fight we do have the fighting spirit fight for your life fight for your victory fight for your victory mm -hmm. fight for your success mm -hmm. Fight true. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for what you believe in and fight. Never give up. Mm -hmm. You know sometimes we get low, but you know what? For everyone there is someone, there's an angel for everyone to empower mm -hmm. and to encourage. Because we too at times get disheartened. Mm -hmm. We too at times get discouraged. And we too at times feel sad. But we have to fight through. Mm -hmm. so that we are able to come back and present something to empower whoever is watching this video so love you guys stay strong stay blessed and continue to be who you are and let no one change you unless you are a bad person mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the only way if you are doing negative then you need to change to positive yeah so bless you Ta -ta. Ta -da.